Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I am here with a head cold or allergies. I really think it's an allergy thing going on, but I am here with that and with an unboxing. I don't feel well. My head is just very congested and I would normally just wait and open that box later, but there's two reasons I want to open it now and I want to record it because I got a big order and I want you guys to be able to see that. Well, one is I'm not having a flash sale this weekend because I just don't feel well enough. I don't trust my head to, you know, do all the packing of the orders correctly. You know, so that's the part that really wears me out during a flash sale or a frenzy is the packing orders. And the past two that I've had, I try to have them every weekend, were big. The last one I had was really big because I had also taken pre-orders for batiks. So I had a lot of packages and I need a, a weekend off from that. But I still want to work as I can because I would go nuts if I'm just like laying on a couch and, you know, trying to recover. So I want to be able to do a few things and I have plenty that I can do. But looking at new fabric and cutting things is uh, to me the best medicine in the world. And the other thing is I have my next Fabric Frenzy, number 19, starting October 4. Today is uh, September 27. So it's uh, not this current weekend, but it's next weekend. And I really want to be able to get some of the new stuff that I hope I like. I haven't opened the box yet. I want to get some of that up for the Frenzy. If you are interested in becoming a YouTube member or a patron, you will get reduced prices during my Fabric Frenzies, and a lot of the stuff sells out, so you get a chance to grab that stuff. Leftovers will go to eBay. I only send to outside of the USA on eBay, so if you're outside of the USA, you need to wait till the leftovers get to eBay. But anyway, details are down below in the description if you want to join one of those platforms. So the box is big, and it's because I ordered flannels. He doesn't usually have flannels, my supplier, and he got a shipment in. He said probably 400 prints. I believe I ordered 40 prints. I think I ordered a yard and a half of each, not sure, but he said I'm getting 60 yards of flannel. What else am I getting? Let me look at the email. 60 yards of flannel, six and a half yards of laurel lee. He had a shipment of that and I was able to get some during my last order, but he said he was almost out and I was like, just give me what you have left. So not much there, but I'm going to be happy if I like the prints. I can always find something to do with the with the prints, whether I like them or not. And of course, sometimes the prints I like aren't popular with others. <laughs> and the things I'd be like, oh, this is boring. People like jump on it. Then I was only able to get 10 yards of homespun. He doesn't carry homespun generally, but he will certainly let me know if he ever gets a shipment in. So again, I can do something with that. And then I said to fill the rest of the box with uh, just regular quilt cotton, small prints, preferably. And he said I got 24 yards of that. And then I also asked for some samples. He didn't mention if he remembered to include that, but I asked for samples of denim for quilting, the different weights. And I think there was two different weights he's going to send me. I like the denim that's like jeans, but jeans are always worn when people use them to make quilts, so they're softer. So sometimes the actual jean weight, it's kind of like stiff. But anyway, there's different weights. It comes like 6 ounce, 8 ounce, 10 ounce, 12 ounce, and then there's the very lightweight for denim shirts. But that is really lightweight. It's good for quilting. doesn't have the same appeal as denim like jeans, but he's supposed to send me a sample of his light lightest weight like jeans denim and then the um the shirt denim and then i also asked uh, yeah uh for uh, a sample of whatever muslin he has and he didn't let me know if i can get that by the bolt or not if i find a muslin that i like i would like to start buying that by the bolt so i can always have some available for you guys what else did i ask for oh a sample of um uh 
iron-on fusing, one-sided for quilt blocks uh, to use as like the foundation. And I had some that I used to be able to get at Martin's. I probably still can. That's a surplus store that I have here in Maine. But what I don't like about that is it comes on a big roll and they have to go and unroll it and and then cut it. And if it's like, if I want a lot of yardage, it's just a hot mess. It's hard for me to cut. So I'm hoping he has something featherweight enough. That was such a nice weight. It was so thin that no matter what you ironed it on, like if you were doing crazy quilting and you had some stretch fabric and you wanted to stabilize it, it was so nice because it just kept the fabric very flexible, very lightweight. So I don't know if he has any of that or not. If not, I can always ask Martins, maybe. I can buy a whole roll and just put that somewhere in my house. <laughs> and unroll it by going around and around and around. But uh, hopefully I can get my hands on some of that. So I'm going to do the unboxing. But, but first, I want to show you guys one of the panels that I'm going to have for the frenzy. Because I thought I have to take some pictures. I'm glad I have the weekend off from listing flash sale stuff because I really have been behind on getting all this done and I want a lot of stuff for the actual frenzy. So a little by little that's how I'm going to spend my weekend and the most part of the upcoming week. So a little while ago I did, I think this is, well it has to be, part of my uh, Marden's mini haul or something like that. I'll link down below. And this is one of the panels that I had with cats, but I had no clue that this is also like, um, what is it called? Uh, can you find it? Uh, picture seeking game for kids and for adults. I always loved that when I was a kid that you had to like find the pair of roller skates and you know, you have to look in the picture. So I did take pictures of this, but the pictures came out so terrible that I'm going to have to retake them. I have a very hard time when it's colors like light blue or light purple. Ugh, and my lighting sucks anyway. So I want to show you guys this panel because I know all my exclusive members who like the fabric sales will be watching this because they want to see what I got for flannel. And uh, I want everybody to see it. I will try to take the pictures again, but there's no guarantee I will get the coloring right. I think I have a better shot at that here. See, it's a very nice light blue. And there's a kitty in the tree. There's a kitty here. And there's all kinds of kitty cats. Let me see if I can show you the whole thing. I think there's some more coming. Here's another one. It's just such a beautiful panel. But then I didn't realize, trying to keep this straight. See, um, okay, that's some kind of a little border. Why am I so crooked? But look down here. See those little things like the, the fish and whatever else that is? Those are all in the big picture above. And you got to find them. And it does say something about that down here. And also, you know, there's a whole bunch of the things. And it does say they're not to scale. So, like, it might be a, a big fish in that picture or a little fish. But you can find those items. There's a very good chance that will sell out during the frenzy. So if you're interested in that panel, and I bought all that Marden's had, so I don't know if I can get more. A lot of times their panels are older. Let me see if the salvage says anything. 2011. See, they're a surplus salvage store, and they buy fabric from stores all over the place. Stores that might be going out of business or that just want to get rid of older stock. So it's not likely I could get more of these unless they happened to have some more bolts of this. I don't know, and I'm not going there anytime soon. So you want to grab one of these when you can. I'm not sure what the price will be yet. I have to look at the prices that I paid. I have other panels coming up too that I will have in the frenzy, but it's always uh, at least $3 more on eBay because of the fees and just because. The patrons and members get a lower rate because they pay a monthly fee to be part of the exclusive 
Fabric Club, which is kind of like what it is. I do other stuff in there too, though. So I just wanted to let you know all of that. Now let me open the box and we will start looking at flannel. And I think I'm going to take a little break because I'm suddenly like hot just from all this talking. You guys, oh, this is all flannel. This whole stack goes all the way to the bottom and here too. It's like I opened a box of gold. You don't know how happy I am that I have this on a sick weekend. <laughs> it's just making me so happy because to me it almost feels like a weekend off because the thing I like the least about all of this selling is the packing of orders. So I have the weekend off from that, except for what people buy on eBay, but that's, you know, that's minimal compared to the sales that I have. And I'm not complaining about the packing of the orders. It's just my least favorite part of the job. Uh, my most favorite is looking at the fabric. And when I opened that box, I was like, oh my God. And I did tell him, I think, even for the flannels, to keep the prints on the smaller side because I, you know, like to do scrappy pre-cuts and I don't want really big prints because then the print gets lost. So we're going to start looking, but I wanted to tell you two things. I can't remember one of them already, but one of them is that the cat panel, I wanted to mention that you can use the top part, you know, the full panel, obviously, as a quilt top, or if you want a bigger quilt, you just keep adding fabric around it. That can be the center of a quilt for a child. And then the strip of the find it, you know, the things that you have to find, I thought you could cut all of those into little motifs and maybe make a pillow with those, just like a scrappy pillow, add fabric between so the child could have the quilt top and then just a nice little pillow, a little flat pillow, and that would be what they have to find. They could look at the pillow and say, we need to find the fish, we need to find the whatever else was in there. I just thought that was a really cool idea. And then, um, what else? Let me think. No clue what else I wanted to tell you. I'm sure it was so important. <laughs> I did take a break and I edited the beginning of that video because uh, I got tired. And um, let's just start looking at fabric, all right? I'm so happy. Oh, I added all this up and I normally get 108 yards when he does the three priority boxes, but because flannel is thick, I ended up with only 100 and a half yards, assuming that he's correct in all that he told me, and that's okay. I'm glad with that. So uh, let's just start looking. These are all the flannels. I guess we'll just go by whatever I grab first, and we'll go kind of fast. I'm so excited about this. Look at the color and the print. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Gee, I hope I'm not as excited about every single piece because we have a lot to go through. Oh, I like this too. I did say dots. I'm fond of dots. I don't know. I don't know if everybody is, especially small dots like this. I love like little dotted things that are like all over and funky. Oh, I like this. It's like wood grain. Buttons, buttons. Ah. Oh. Even if that's all I like in this box, I'm happy. <laughs> no, I'd like to like more than this. I gotta grab some more. Okay, uh, uh. this is, uh, I don't know, but I like it. It's like, uh, so cool. Like, that would even make good um, uh, sashing. Oh, my eyes are crying. It's not tears of joy. It's tears of allergies, <laughs> I do believe. Some hound's tooth-ish. Hound's tooth enough. Oh, this little, little piggies. This little piggy went to market. Circles with stars included. A nice little zigzag going on there. Stripes. Do love. More dotties, dots, um, little uh, snails, slugs, is that the same thing, a snail or a slug, and that, I've eaten snails, the ones that would be stuck to my father's lobster traps, we used to take those home and cook them, okay, I like this, it's very cute for kids, 
good good very happy with these prints i hope you guys are too <laughs> Ooh, pretty pretty gotta grab some more okay this looks like all flannels little bit of wrinkles dots I'm trying to see if there's an upside up yes emojis or what we used to call smiley faces but now they're not all smiley faces so we have to call them emojis some more piggies I can't remember what the color was of the other one but I think it's two different colors right somewhere in there there was piggies oh it was like white fabric pink pigs this is green fabric white pigs <gasps> pink green let's look at that together just to make me happy Oh, let a sick girl enjoy, will ya? All right, let's see what we've got going on here. Are these both right side up. See, I like that together. I do, I really do. Hi. <laughs> okay. Holy shit. <gasps> Samples. I was like, what the hell is this? Big pieces of paper. It's because, look, these are my samples. Look at the um, iron-on fusing, one-sided, so super thin. I think this one is thinner. And then he does give me, like, the order number of each of these so that uh, I can order the one I like the best. Oh, my God. So happy. I hope I can get it by the bolt. And then this is muslin samples. There's the white, the unbleached. I really love unbleached. And then there's this one. So I have that to choose from. Oh, is there another paper somewhere? He only sent me one sample of denim, and it's pretty stiff. But I'm going to actually wash this. He said that most of his denim was on the heavier side. I'm going to wash it to see. But he didn't send a piece of the shirt denim. That's all right. He did good. I can get that the next time. This might soften up enough when it's washed because it could even have like some sizing on it, but <laughs> I actually would like a little bit thinner than that. I'm gonna be on the hunt for that because I really wanna do some denim quilts. I have done one in the past, denim and muslin, and I really liked it, it's small. I'll link down below to that too. All right, um, oh, a few more flannels here. This, we're almost done. Hang in there, this. <sighs> Oh, 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 funky stripes. Happy, happy. I love Houndstooth. This is just a little bit off from Houndstooth. It looks almost more like a little teapot, but good, good. Oh. <gasps> more piggies for the farm. Brown piggies. So we have the brown, we gotta put the family together, and the white, and the green. Oh, 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 oh. So I'll probably do some lots of three fat quarters, or four if we find another piggy. I think I already showed you this one. I don't remember now what I just moved over, but uh, I don't think we've seen this one yet. Oh, I love this. I love the colors. I love that the flannels aren't just all youthful or baby and then we see this guy was it the same color nope the other one was white with emojis now we have a uh, pink with emojis very cute for a scrappy quilt top for the youngins and this and i did say some youthful prints so we got that sports Oh, little horsies. Dots. Oh my God, I'm getting so hot. Not that kind of hot. We're almost done though, so let's just keep going. I need to be done before my mother's aid comes. My mother has a new aid because her other one that she's had for like three years is ill. All right, uh, mottled purple, do like very much. This would look awesome in like a galaxy kind of quilt 
block or quilt top. Ooh, Makanda elephant. Whoa, well, I threw that one a little too far. And this. Oh, more sports. I did tell him that I do groupings of things like I like at least four. So I said, if you give me something that's like kid themed, don't give me just one. Give me at least four kid themed things, preferably more, because sometimes I don't like it in that grouping. So I like to have a lot to play with. All right. We still have the regular stuff to go through. Ugh. That's it for flannels. I am absolutely, I want to push that without knocking stuff over absolutely happy with that now let's see okay this is going to be the filler meaning i think it was 20 something yards it's not the laurel lee and it's not homespun so we got that and i did say smallish prints oh i'm so happy so so haps very good i think i might have some of that and i don't care I do have some of this, and I really liked this one. And I used this in the strip quilt. I'll link to that down below. And it looks like greener, I think, in the pictures. But it is a blue. It's like a very soft, dusty blue. like it very much. <gasps> I didn't think of this before to say. It's not the thing I forgot, but it's something new. A new idea made its way through the congestion. <laughs> The strip quilt that I made, I, I would like to start making some uh, quilt kits for quilt tops that I make if I can, if I have the fabric available. But then what I thought is I only had three kits for that strip quilt. Sometimes I can just find other prints and make the quilt kit in different prints. I could maybe lay them down so that you could see how they work together, but I could still cut the strips or whatever I, you know, quilt top I made, I could cut the pieces and still sell and just refer people back to the previous video. Huh? Huh? So, um, uh, I might do that with the strip one because I really liked that strip quilt top and, uh, maybe somebody would like a kit, even though it's not the exact one that I made. Let's see, I have ideas. I didn't just think of that idea. I thought of it a little while ago, but I just remembered it. So happy with these. Really am. Oh my God. I feel like I have a full-blown fever. <laughs> I don't want to be sick. I just don't. That The hotness isn't because I'm sick. It's just because it's kind of hot and humid today and damp because it rained so it's the humidity that's really getting to me and I don't have the AC on I don't have a fan on like this very much and uh, I'm just hot okay this almost looks stained but it's not it's a mottled kind of print I hope people don't think that that's stained it's supposed to be that way it's almost like a tea dye effect oh I like that and that I am fond of stripes too. I really want to do a quilt top one time. Stripes and dots. I think that just would be so cool. All right, we have a few homespuns, just a few. This. Now, homespun, it's 100% cotton, but it's um, more of an open, uh, it's a looser weave, kind of a rustic feel. Very, very awesome especially for rag quilts. Need to do another one of those. I haven't done that in a long time. Because it's a loose weave, it frays so nicely when you snip your edges of the rag pieces, and it's awesome. Uh, I wish he would have a, an ongoing supply of that, but uh, I will certainly let him know that I need more of this. And he'll let me know if he gets some in. Ooh. I'm happy. I didn't get much yardage, but I got, you know, quite a few prints. And I think I still have some here from Marden's. I just don't like going to Marden's now because it's so convenient for me to just send an email. 
then in fabric arrives magically and in manageable size pieces not like when I buy a bolt of something did we look at all this yet yes we did I think I sold out or maybe I only have one left I had scrappy pre-cuts of this and also with the black background um, that might still be on eBay, but I think I have only one more. And I liked the silverware very much because what an awesome thing, and especially a scrap quilt. <sighs> and I think these are the three colors that I had. The gray, the green, the black. I can't remember if those are the exact same three. And then I told them I liked the crazy ladies. And that's all I got for Laura Lee. That's just a, um, a designer who designs funky stuff. Like all the the characters that she has are very funky and the prints are just unusual like silverware that's it you guys oh i'm so tired <sighs> i have to go cool off and then i will uh edit this and get it up i hope you enjoyed i'm so incredibly satisfied with this order i'm going to tell him that i am very satisfied and uh Hopefully I'll be able to um, move a lot of this flannel so I can order more. Thank you so much for watching. I will be back with more soon. Bye.